Thursday brought continued uncertainty to Wall Street, as investors kept trying to consider the ramifications of the Federal Reserve's latest meeting for the stock market and the economy. Cryptocurrencies continued to lose value, extending declines from all-time highs several months ago. As the tug of war between crypto bulls and bears goes on, though, the more important question of how average investors perceive the digital asset market remains unanswered. The drop in Bitcoin can be a double whammy for Bitcoin miners. First, they make their revenue in Bitcoin as compensation for providing mining services to the network. So when Bitcoin goes down, their revenue goes down as well without any real offset to their costs. Given the high levels of fixed cost associated with mining, we could see net income drop dramatically if the current Bitcoin trend continues. There wasn't anything fundamental that stood out as justifying these steep moves. Rather, investor sentiment seemed to hinge on the perception that crypto asset values will rise and fall with monetary policy, and the Fed's tightening stance is seen as a threat to further upward moves in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Fed moves, higher mortgage rates are coming, what could it mean for home buyers? Top cryptocurrencies fell heavily on Wednesday as a broad Nasdaq sell-off continued to run through its second straight day and into a third. The Federal Reserve then proceeded to pour gasoline on the bonfire, promising to shut off spigots of easy money for the economy and raise interest rates as many as eight separate times over the next three years, frightening many investors away from riskier assets such as cryptocurrencies. Miners aren't just going to see a negative impact on the income statement if Bitcoin continues to drop, they all see their balance sheets get crushed as well, and that should be a concern for investors. The Metaverse, how the Metaverse could reshape the real estate landscape both virtually and in relay. Solana Vax tokens, notes Coindesk, had booked gains in the several hundred percent range over the past year, as investors sought out alternatives to Ethereum, which was itself up roughly 300 percent through the early November, so why are these cryptocurrencies falling now? One possible reason is that Ethereum itself is getting cheaper and you don't really need to buy an alternative to Ethereum if the thing you really want is on sale. Investing in the Metaverse? What the future holds as real estate, crypto, NFTs fuel growth more concerning than that, though, is a theory raised by Coindesk toward the end of its report on the Solunavax trade, to wit, over $800 million in crypto liquidations, I. E. Sales of cryptocurrencies, had taken place over the last 24 hours. And these were no ordinary liquidations, but forced liquidations.